Two minutes away from where I live, there's a massage parlor that according to Yelp gives you a happy ending. So I gave my best friend Ryan $40 to go into that massage parlor and find out if it's true. Hello. I was looking to get a massage. Do you have a bathroom I could use? And let's just say it is true. Right after he got the massage, I went in there and pretended like I'm an undercover cop, and this whole thing was a huge sting operation. What? You guys? Do you guys give happy endings here? Mickey D's! Let's fucking go. Hi, how are you doing? I can help you. What do you call a vegan hamburger? A mistake. <laughs> okay. Listen, buddy. Fuck you. We just pulled up to the massage parlor, and Ryan and I have been sitting in the parking lot for about five minutes contemplating what direction we want to take this YouTube video. We have two options right now. A, we could just go into the massage parlor, guns blazing, acting like undercover cops, trying to catch them in the act, stroking some random dude off, which we did watch someone just walk out of the massage parlor and let's just say he looked a little too fucking happy. Or B, we could send Ryan in again, see if they offer him the deed. And once the deed is done, I go in there with the camera and expose this Asian bitch. Do you guys give happy endings here? For some reason, we pulled up and I looked up on Google to see if they're even open. And the only thing I saw on Google was a one star review from this guy named Louis D. Worst massage experience. I asked for an hour and after 35 minutes, the lady offered to masturbate me, so I denied it. If we bust a massage parlor for giving a happy ending on camera, dude. Hello? Hey. Um, how, how much is it for uh, an hour massage with you guys? One hour, 15, half hour for $40. Okay, half hour for $40? Yeah, yeah. Is that just a full body massage? Oh, damn. A rat who fuck Yeah, dude, what the fuck was she saying? Don't be free right now. All I heard was Ching Chong Ching on play. All right, heads or tails. This is not scripted. If we both say the oh. same one, you're going in there with $40. You gotta be sure you're able to film yeah. it though. Three, two, one, head. Yeah. yeah. Despite a new law to yeah. shut down massage parlors selling sex, yeah. it appears the illegal activity is still thriving in Colorado Springs. Who the jiggy nigga with the goalie? Hello. I was looking to get a massage. Okay. Do you have a bathroom I could use? Probably 30 minutes. Yeah. So come in. Yeah. Do you have a bathroom I could use first? Or no. It reeks of battery acid and fish. I've been waiting in this car for about 20 minutes now. That means in about 10 minutes time, I will find out if Ryan finally secured the happy ending. Take off all my clothes? Take off. All right. Okay. Take off my fucking socks. Dude, why do I keep having to do this? Go ahead. As you guys know, in part one, Ryan unfortunately did not secure the happy ending. I didn't get it, bro. Although I didn't get the happy ending, I do think I am in love with this lady. And it sucks, man. There's a lot of unanswered questions in this world. Did we actually go to the moon or was it all fake? Is the earth flat or is it round? Are happy endings real? These are all questions that Americans need answers to. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If you got- I'm sorry, I fucked you up. Ryan laid there while the Asian girl oiled his body up. Jacob passed time watching videos on his phone. Yo, ever heard of jerk meat? The massage went on and on as more and more oil was used. She asked him to flip over. Well, I think that's what she said. I really can't f***ing understand her. At this point, Ryan realized he can be more confident getting this happy ending and not insecure about his wiener size because they're Asian and Asians have very small wieners, like very fucking small wieners. Another 10 minutes later, and Ryan's dreams came true. He was getting a happy ending.
Ryan just texted me come in. I honestly have no idea if that means he got the happy ending or not. You guys, do you guys give happy endings here? Do you stroke it? Wait, they locked the door. Yeah, they locked the door, dude. Dude, they locked the door. They stroke it here. Can you believe that? You wanna, you wanna get one? I just got one. $40, bro, can you believe it? Okay, we just got back to the apartment. I don't know why, but for some reason, I felt like we were the ones that were gonna get in trouble. So Ryan and I, we just got the f out of there. I told Ryan the whole car ride, I was like, bro, do not tell me anything that happened until the camera is on. So we're at the apartment. We're just gonna find a place to sit down. We're gonna interview Nerf Gun Ryan about what he encountered inside of that Asian massage parlor. The only thing I know up until this moment is while we were driving back, Ryan decided to let me see his camera roll. And you wanna know what was in that camera roll? The video. And let's just say my life was a whole lot better five minutes ago. No, literally like two minutes away from where we live, there was a massage parlor and there was only one Yelp review. Get this, one Yelp review and you wanna know what it said? Oh, they massaged my back for 20 minutes and then started masturbating me. And when I said I didn't want it, they kicked me out. So of course we had to pull up. If you ever see me two minutes away at a massage parlor, don't, don't be upset. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding, I, I'd rather not. What the fuck happened in there? Neither of them speak a lick of English. I already knew it was gonna happen from there. <laughs> so, you know, she starts rubbing up on me, you know, this and that. She looks at me dead in the eyes. She goes, Oi. I look up, she goes, the next 10 minutes, I experienced the worst hand job of my life. Was it two hands or one? You know, it was a she got the balls a little bit. Oh, dude, I'm going there right now. I'm honestly at a loss for words. I, <laughs> I don't know what to say at all. All I gotta say is, I mean, fuck man we're trying to come up with bigger and better ideas than anyone else on youtube i know we've been extremely inactive on youtube me personally for the past few months i've just been editing for other creators but it's just not my passion i'm editing for all these bigger youtubers making good money but i'm literally watching them live out the dream that i want to live so ryan and i we came up with a mutual agreement this summer to literally just go out and get it boys we've been doing youtube for years i'd be lying to say there's been one year throughout our journey on youtube that we literally gave it our all out best shot our backs against the wall we got nothing to lose we got everything to gain and you know that's why i'm excited oh, thank you need a life for the ideas i'm in the splash zone with the brain waves i shoot for stars up in my aim is straight i lay in the sand line in the palace